Uh, welcome to the series of tutorials on test link. So today we will uh, uh, do a basic navigation on uh, the test link uh, tool and uh, we'll see uh, how the tool looks like and uh, what are the links available. So let's log in into the application. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the home page. Uh, I have logged in as an administrator. So this is the user that it is showing now coming uh, one by one to the links uh, see this one is my settings so all the settings uh, related to test link are stored out here uh, my name a last name email you can change the password from here and uh, these are the API interfaces if you have uh, any API interface connected so you can connect it from here this is all the history it is showing how many times I have logged in successful logins failed logins <clears throat> coming to this one this is the logout button if you click on this uh, you log out of the test link uh, we we'll log in again and uh, yeah so coming to this one this is the project link uh, so already we are on the home page and you can see the project is listed out here as test project one that we uh, created out here test project uh, coming to next link this one is requirement specification so all the requirements uh, pertaining to your project can be listed out here uh, you can create the requirement uh, you can export all the requirements and even you can import the requirements from outside either from Excel or a comma separated file etc coming to next one uh, this is the test uh, specification uh, tab where uh, you can see uh, you can uh, see the test project name and uh, what this project is all about testing for a retail uh, you know website and the left hand side we have all these settings and filters present here test project uh, test suits and test cases so this is the <clears throat> you know uh, test specification tab uh, coming to next one so this is the test execution tab where uh, you can uh, uh, see all the executed uh, test cases and all the results all the details related to test execution coming to next one we have the test reporting so you want to take any reports for your project uh, you can see many reports are present out here you can take any of the reports and you can do analysis next one is uh, the user management clicking on this you will find all the users that are present uh, in test link as of now i have three users tester one tester two and me myself as an administrator so different tabs are there view roles assign test project roles so uh, we'll cover this in the later tutorials next one uh, it is the events so like whenever you are logging in or whenever you are creating a requirement whenever uh, you are assigning something so all these are events so that gets logged into test link and all these log you can find out here see all the details with along with the dates errors issues etc so this is a kind of you know uh, checking out the logs on test link coming to last one these are the plugins uh, plugin means like uh, suppose you are using a jira plugin or a bugzilla plugin so these plugins needs to be installed in order to use those tools uh, I mean kind of integration kind of thing. So those plugins needs to be present Okay, so these are the basic uh, uh, You know navigation uh, tabs present out at the top left corner Now if we see the home page of this uh, there are other la uh, links as mentioned uh, custom fields you can define these are uh, issue tracker managements like any defects or something 
this is test project management assigning the roles and assigning the custom fields uh, we have uh, you know requirement specification creating the requirements you can see the requirements from requirement overview uh, you can generate uh, the requirement specification document from this link you can search the requirements uh, you can assign the requirements from this link and you can monitor the requirements like requirement monitoring overview coming to next one we have the test specification you can search the test cases uh, you can assign the keywords to the test cases for identification and you can create test cases I mean see the test cases created per user uh, next we have the test planning management uh, the creation of the test plan see as you can see uh, test plan sample one is present here you can create the builds or releases uh, in your project uh, that is defined and then these are the milestones that needs to be covered for a specific time interval this is the execute test link uh, you can do execution of a test cases from here uh, you can see the test cases assigned to me from this link to yourself uh, then this is the test reports and matrices uh, that I have shown you uh, some time back from here test reports and uh, again this is the dashboard now you can add and remove the platforms like uh, what all platforms or software hardwares you have used for the execution of a particular project then you can add or remove the test cases from this link and you can assign uh, for the test cases for execution from this link coming to last two uh, updated link test cases versions if there are uh, different versions of our test cases you can view go and view it from here and uh, any changes that happen to the test cases so you can see the show test cases newest version links okay so the version that uh, is present here is uh, test link 1.9.20 and uh, you can search these are the search tabs so you can search it from here and i think that's pretty much uh, i hope i covered the basic links and uh, in the later tutorials we will go in detail for uh, like how to create a test case how to create a test planning creating a test project uh, etc so thank you uh, very much for uh, viewing this video i hope you got a basic idea on uh, navigation of test link and in the later tutorials we'll see uh, things in more detail thank you very much uh, and uh, for any doubts you can uh, give the comments and uh, we'll meet you in the next tutorial thank you very much bye bye take care